I have to see. Should I turn off like more things? Ah, uh, probably. I want to do a good showing of exactly how this thing works. I should probably get, uh, you know, a good version of it immediately. What to do, though? Bleed related stuff, I suppose. Anyway. Hey, Sirk. Yes, yes, hi. <laughs> and hey, Vazaraki. Welcome back to the inaugural run after I went on break for a couple days. That's not even. Like, I go on break all the time. Why do I even need to make an excuse for that? <laughs> I don't know, I guess I, I, I guess I feel kind of guilty because I was doing like daily daily runs for a while and then I'm like, uh And then I didn't. <laughs> ah, whatever, it's probably fine. I think. Or it's not, whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter, now does it? Give me face flask, maybe I can do something with that. Been spending my time getting banned from famous people's streams. What are you doing with you getting banned from famous people's streams? What are you doing to famous people? Don't harass famous people. They're famous. That means that they're better than both you and I. I kind of want to get on Poyo Power just for the sake of potentially getting Poyo Power. I ask first. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> you know, that's that's something though where I, as much as I think that that's very funny to do the uh, to do like the channel point uh, reward thing to get banned from the channel, it does remove you from the followers list. So. I feel like I can't afford that, what with being a very tiny streamer. <laughs> anyway, uh, the grappling hook, maybe I can do some good stuff with that. Finish watching the Elden Ring, thanks for playing it so I won't have to. Hey, we still got one more coming, I uh, still got the Millennia fight. Millennia? Millennia? Millennia. Sort of. We'll see. I don't know, man, it's just... Oh, oh man, that fight is... That fight is balls, I'm telling you. What's the cursed lore today? Probably more stuff with Elden Ring in all likelihood. But then again, we do have literally a character called the Leg Hugger, which is disturbing in its own right. I'm sure we'll probably get something going with that. Um, yeah, uh, what was I saying here? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, 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 I got the Millennia fight, which, oh my god, I just... I, I, well... The reputation is well deserved with that fight. It's um it's not great. The thing I'm mostly running into is the fact that well yeah, it's, it's two phases. It's a big old two-phase fight where the first fight is I'm going to be honest kind of kind of uh, goes between being like incredibly deadly and also boring, an incredible combination. <laughs> I don't know how, mo how mo Motion Twin, yes, you know what, fuck it. Uh, I don't know how Motion Twin managed to thread that needle, but they did. Both extremely hard and boring at the same time. Oh, after dark, yeah, I mean, you know. I was working on other stuff. Been doing, I've been doing a lot more um, um, of the Japanese study as of late, so. I've been kind of like trying to, to chunk my way through that right now. Yeah, RP walking. Because... It's, God, I fought that boss so much now, I almost can tell you exactly what the, their AI flowchart is. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And let me tell you, the AI flowchart always starts with RP walk around until the, the player character makes some sort of a move and then bonk them on the head. <laughs> Instantly. Actually, Millennia is, is quite friendly. Most of her attacks have quite a bit of startup, but, and you know, of course, she does have the... Uh, Little poise and everything, but still, it's like... <laughs> There's a good reason why I'm using the Lance. Yeah, yeah, we're doing some late night Dead Cells. Dead Cells, after dark. I already slept today. <laughs> Just got in a little bit of exercise, actually. And yeah, uh, during my couple days off there, I, um... Oh well, yeah, like I said, I've, I've, I've gotten... <clears throat> I've gotten uh, that much hard. I, I, I've gotten that much farther into doing like a Japanese study. I'm exercising more. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Yeah, the ads suck. Well, you know how you can fix that. I mean, look, I I tr I tried. I've tried to figure out how to turn off the ads. I you can't. You just can't. But um, you know how you can get rid of that. There's a little thing called subscribing. <laughs> okay, okay, come on. It, it, yeah, I do want the money, though. What am I even saying? I'm, I, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna be shameless. Give me money. Give me money right now. <laughs> Tried the cursed sword. No, we just started. 
Uh, unless you wanted to get in on the uh, on the pot friend talk here. <laughs> so we got the emote there. There's a little thing called ad blocker. Ad blocker doesn't always work though. And then like the ads like break constantly on Twitch. I don't. I, whatever. Give me the link. It's it's the subscribe. But okay. Anyway. Elden Ring is a perfect platform to implement generational adaptive AI. It's uh, like it's oh. Okay, y'all are probably gonna hate me for this, and I won't blame you. I gotta be honest that after playing a lot of Elden Ring, and even trying to get back into Elden Ring now that, you know, the wiki's been updated and everything, I gotta admit something. I gotta admit. I think, as of now, I like games that were inspired by the Souls games more than the actual Souls games themselves. <laughs> Which is probably heretical to the highest degree to say, but, I mean, especially after playing so much Death's Gambit prior to this, it's like, man... I just see so many things where I'm like... FromSoft, you, it's, been, it's been like 12 years since Dark Souls came out. Can you just improve some of the bad things? <laughs> anyway, uh, the, 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 that's, that's, that's just kind of how I've been feeling lately. You like big fat anime titties? I do! Should have done that and made the bosses tank you into oblivion. They already do that. I mean, except for like Millennia. <laughs> and Millennia, of course, has lifesteal. So that gives her quite a bit of tankiness just by itself. Ugh, why are you streaming so late? Oh, because I wanted to stream. Is this, a, is this an Elden Ring rant? It's a little bit of an Elden Ring rant. Yeah, it's an Elden Ring. You know what? Let's, let's be honest here. It's an Elden Ring rant. You dare miss, miss Miyazaki? Yes, I'm sorry. And look, I love the Souls games. I played them all. I, I played literally all of them for dozens of hours. But it's just... I just... I, they have problems that don't really get better with every... With every iteration. <laughs> you know? And I see a lot of these games that are inspired by it and... They kind of shape up a lot of the issues that I have, and, and then I look at Elden Ring, and it's the same damn things that we've been seeing for the past 12 years. It's... And, like, Millennia just feels like a big step backwards, where it's like, hey, do you like using a shield? Do you like using anything but the more most powerful, like, super overpowered summons? Do you like using, say melee builds in general if you're not using bloodhound step well get fucked kids <laughs> you know that sort of thing but th th that's uh, then i uh, i feel like i feel like i am rightly going to be going to be um uh, uh, attacked for that statement <laughs> and i think that's fair what's the difference between rogue likes and rogue lights well uh rogue likes are like rogue we're talking you know uh the big turn based uh heavy rpg Often, like, you know, very basic tiles or just straight-up ASCII uh, versus uh, permadeath and procedurally generated levels. That's roguelite. Have you seen the video of the guy beating him with only parries? I mean, look, here's the thing. Yeah, you can... I'm not saying that, like, a boss is impossible. I'm just saying the design is bad. I can... I can... I've god-mastered my way through the first phase enough to do that very consistently. You can, you can go see that. In, in, like, the last stream I did, I, I can go and show you right now. It's just... I just... <laughs> like I said, now that I've played the, the, that, against that boss enough, and against all of the bosses enough, I think Millennia is good except for the Waterfowl. I think Millennia is good if you can figure out the exact build they use to test that boss. <laughs> I actually do enjoy fighting the boss. Minus the RP walking segments and the fact that it is two phases. But Waterfowl is, that, that is, that is definitely the point where it's just like, what the hell are they doing? The hell were they doing there? <laughs> just use a sort of, look, it's not, I, the problem is not beating the boss, people. <laughs> if I wanted to just go take out the Mimic tier, I can go and clown on her in a couple seconds. <laughs> Which I did the first time that I fought her. And then, you know, I, I purposely died because I'm just like, okay, this is way too easy. Mimic tier isn't even the best. That's, that, that's neither here. Ugh. <laughs> Damn it, people. This is not the point. This is not the point I'm trying to make here. <laughs> Just get good. That is not the point I'm trying to make here. 
Black Knife Tish is now better. Yeah, I got that one too. I mean, I suppose. What does it matter if you're using a bleed build? It, it's, it's like it's it's fine regardless. The only thing that I'm struggling with with that boss is understanding the second phase, which is you know basically the equivalent of having to fight the pure vessel immediately after fighting the Hollow Knight and Hollow Knight. <laughs> You know, on where in at least Godmaster you could practice those fights ahead of time. Out with the point then. The point is that there are a lot of issues with the basic design of Elden Ring that I have that are not that are not related to it being too difficult or whatever. That I feel like a lot of other games have done better. Things like the uh, the the many many. Um... No, man. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get on with the damn run already. Ugh. The hardest thing was figuring out certain moves that would only come out to instant kill me. I mean, that's true for every single boss, right? <laughs> that's like every single boss, you know? I mean, it's, I, I feel like every boss has the flip around in the air five times and then kills them. And then kills you instantly <laughs> with, a, with a combo. And it's either too... Yeah, the, the summons, I mean, that's the thing with Elden Ring, where it's just like the summons make either make fights way too chaotic to be pretty uninteresting. Even they, they make the fights easier, and they make the fights also way too chaotic. But then if you don't use them, then the, then uh, bosses will wait until you, will RP walk until you run up to try and fight them, and then they'll kill you in a single combo. Ugh. Uh, aside from that, you know, we still got like the same reusing of everything... Hey, we've got to fight Seath again. <laughs> and it, it, it's like there's also just, just, I mean, even looking at like Millennia's fight, uh, just kind of bringing that one up again. What do you get by the end of it? You get an item that might be kind of useful, except for the fact that it's way too hard to get. You get it way too late. And it takes um, limited resources that are a real pain to grind back up, which is so true for so many things in the Souls games. I can't believe they're still doing it after this. Okay, I'm going to end this stream and we're going to restart it where I'm not ranting about Elden Ring. Explain what RP walk is. Well, bosses, for whatever reason, their basic programming is not to, like, attack you and then have a cooldown time between attacks. But after doing a basic combo of attacks, they'll just kind of slowly walk around you. I, I timed it on stream. It was up to a, a full minute of them slowly kind of circle strafing or walking towards you until you get close enough or try to attack them and then they immediately pull out a combo that instant kills you if you don't know how to dodge it. <laughs> it's, um... Every boss does that. And in, in past games, during that time, during like that cooldown time between attacking, that's when you counter attack. But in Elden Ring, since they plan for you to have summons all the time, then bosses, as soon as you get near them, immediately pull out the, the wacky combos that kill you in one hit. And that's why I think everyone except Malekith. I mean, by the time I got to Malekith, I was basically cheating. But, <laughs> you know, using the Mimic tier for everything. But, eh. Yeah. That's why, that's why I'm using a... Uh, that's why for Millennia, I am using, um, I'm using the Lance. Specifically because... Uh, Specifically because when Millennia is RP walking, then I can get a couple hits in. <laughs> They're taunting you? No, it's more like... It's more like it's just... Weirdly boring. <laughs> like, they... I, I don't know why they do that, to be honest. Where they, they want bosses to react to you rather than being like an active threat most of the time. I don't think someone's our problem. I mean, it makes the, it makes fights easier on one hand, but it also makes fights more chaotic and less interesting. So you might as well just go run in and start whacking away with uh, with your weapon when you summon something. It's a uh, eh. game improving in Japanese. Yes, I am improving in Japanese. I mean, the bosses feel really slow until they don't feel really slow, and then they flip around in the air five times and kill you instantly. It's absurd i it's really weird radagon t radagon I, really th I don't think radagon's too bad it's just uh whom is millennia she she's the optional super boss of the game um radon yeah radon is like yeah <laughs> the no ladies madame that's that's melina 
There's a lot of very similar names in the game. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm closing this. I'm gonna close the stream and then we'll start this back up where I, after I delete the, the Elden Ring rant here. <laughs>